Mm-hmm. How much do you really cost? Hey, hey, hello, bonjour, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril. I used to be a stem cell researcher for quite some time, and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare ingredients. And well, guess what? Today we are not going to talk about the science behind skincare ingredients. We are going to talk about basically the price of your skincare. And I would say what is really behind the cost of one uh, product. Uh, what you sometimes heard online is uh, very, very far from the truth. So basically what you hear is that oh, most products that cost like nothing to make and therefore like the company makes an insane amount uh, of money for nothing and charge you like crazy. Like all right, the reality is uh, where we're more complicated than, than that. And what I'm going to tell you today is basically a little bit like of the breaking point, what is going to impact the price of a product. So. Of course, there are some products that retails for an insane amount of money for absolutely no reasons, absolutely uh, yes, but they are still, I would say, a sort of uh, march between like those super duper uh, expensive and those really, really affordable products. And for today, I'm actually going to uh, compare like um, two products that I really enjoy. One product from The Ordinary and another one from what I chose to give you like a little bit more of an idea actually why the ordinary managed to be like so so affordable and why Paula choice uh, a part of the price is really more high end and why in that case it is still uh, justified of course to a certain um, extent of course so when a company basically decide to create a product the first cost what the company will need to um, to spend is of course when creating a formula so there are of course different ways if you are like a big big company like l'oréal most of them they do have like their own chemist their own team so they have of course to pay those uh, people but it, it could also be less expensive uh, for them because they are so so big and those chemists can also work like for different brands of the same group and etc i mean they can manage to lower the group for a lot of brands actually they need to work with someone who is outside so of course it can be just more expensive to develop one product so this is the um, the first thing you need to basically pay your chemists they are either like from within the company so you need to earn to earn money in your company to pay them or you can simply uh, go and work with an independent lab to develop um, the formula in the process of development from time to time so you can also pay like all the samples for example if you have like a ton uh, of active some company they will uh, charge basically you to have like um, to pay the ingredients and etc this is not necessarily super um, expensive to uh, my knowledge and most of the time uh, it could be actually uh, free then there is also all the price once you uh, related to all the testing because yes your skincare ingredient requires to be uh, tested and this is also um, a cost uh, money it also depends on what is uh, return on the package so to give you an example with the um the poll I chose, this one on the package, it is said that it is, taste by, uh, it is tested by a dermatologist and this is going to add to the cost of development because there are, um, if I'm not mistaken, two to three tests that are always required um, in the EU. I am just going to talk about the EU because this is what uh, I know. But according to what you wit, uh, what is returned on the package, so either on the box or in the package by itself, it will require more testing or not. And for example, for this is an international brand so they have to comply with the EU regulation because they are uh, we can find them in France but also for example in the United States and etc so it just add to the cost of course even though it can be uh, expensive all of this is fixed once the product is out in the market you don't have to pay for it again unless you make a changement in the formula in that case you need to um, to pay again for all the tests and etc so this is the the first thing this is all the development uh, cost basically of a product then it is of course the price of simply making the product so usually uh, there is like i would say two steps the first step is simply uh, the packaging depending on the packaging it can cost more or not uh, a good example with polar choice polar choice is an airless an airless will always be more expensive than a dropper like this one that costs like virtually <laughs> Uh, nothing and you can see that the quality of the packaging is clearly not uh, the same it also depends on the type of airline this one is really like an high-end um, 
uh, hairless compared to other one that is for sure and also this one uh, the way that it is printed it also costs more than having like a simple uh, sticker like you have from the ordinary so this again had to the cost a main difference between the two is that with this one for example your formula will be way more stable way more protective than this one also just in terms of air R and D for polite choice, they can decrease the amount, for example, of preservative in this one, while the ordinary they cannot with those type of um, of droppers. I mean, a lot uh, also goes into um, into the packaging, etc. And of course, this is going to cost way more than uh, this one, and it will of course impact um, the price. Another thing is simply what you are going to pay to the factory to make the product. And again, if you are a big company, you have your own factory, you are going most likely to pay less. So I'm thinking about L'Oreal, for example. Uh, for Polar Choice, I do not know. But for a lot of brands like Crave and Beauty, I'm pretty sure that they are using like some other big uh, factory they don't have their own. So they are dependent on the pricing of the factory. So things that uh, impact the price is simply the ingredients. Uh, some ingredients are more expensive than others. And in the factory, if you're using like, I don't know, 14 different uh, ingredients, uh, for each ingredient you will be charged more because it costs just uh, more. There is also something that people never talk about, which is simply the stockage of all those ingredients. In general, when you are a company, you buy in bulk and therefore when you are in production mode, you are not going to use all of the raw ingredients. So you will need to pay an extra to have like all those products to be uh, stocked in a proper facility and etc. So again, it had to uh, the price. Another thing that will also impact the price and again, nobody talks about it is where the factory. So for example, I'm thinking about Craft Beauty. They are producing their product in uh, South Korea, but they also need to ship all those products in the United States, then stock them and then send them to you. This again is going to um, to cost. So all those things paying the people in your company, what is happening from the packaging to put the packaging uh, in a place to be shipped and etc. and pay people, it will again impact the price of your um, skincare. The other part is of course simply the marketing. If a brand spend a ton and a ton of money on the image, on all the ads and etc. And, and the image, which a lot of brands actually do, of course it is going to cost a ton and a ton of um, of uh, money compared to another company that uh, produce everything uh, by themselves with a small uh, budget. But again, when you are a bigger brand, usually you make also more money. So at the end, it also costs you less to just produ uh, produce the product and etc. So, I mean, behind it, there are a lot of uh, consideration that you need to um, keep in mind. So at the end of the day, uh, of course, probably the most expensive product costs probably $10 to make at the end. So with all the costs, if you imply all the costs, it is probably around um, 10 at maximum five or something like that. So the extra is basically money that goes into the company. This being said, I do believe that that a brand like Polar Choice, for example, they are spending a lot of that money into the R&D because for sure, when you're looking at um, the ingredient list and the type of product that Polar Choice have, it is always really well thought and you can clearly see, I can actually clearly see that a lot of thing has been done here in researching the ingredient, the good concentration and etc. I mean, this is not for nothing that the new retinol contains 2% of bacucol and not three and not one because in the papers they have used two and etc. I mean, a lot of thinking um, is uh, has been put in the ingredient and this is also why you pay more. For the ordinary, on the contrary, all the formula, they are basically already done. They are not the one who make them. They already buy pre-made uh, stuff. Though the only thing that they have to do is to have like a very affordable package and put the product um, in it. And of course, at the end, you can also see this is why some of the product of the ordinary, they're not really pleasant. I'm thinking about the azelaic acid. Oh my God, this one is really not pleasant to use. Still, it is um, efficient. So. I hope you have found this video um, interesting. The whole idea of this video is just to give you like an idea of all the cost and extra that is behind um, a skincare product. Uh, most of the product that I do recommend you, they are pretty um, affordable, uh, or I do think that they are. Uh, some of them, like the Polacho, they are uh, more expensive. They are like around 50 to 60 dollars, 60 euros and something like that. Until now, I've never found any product like around 100 
box 100 euros that are really worth the price. When I see it, I don't say, yeah, okay, I am willing to pay this because indeed there is something that is really outstanding. So I do think that around $100, 100 euros, you are really like paying like for, for the brand basically, because this is a luxury yeah, item or something like that, but you are not really paying for more in terms of results and choice of uh, ingredients. So. Leave your comment down below. Tell me if you have learned um, something interesting. Of course, if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, please. <laughs> and the notification bell. This is very important because like this, you can know when I post a new video. Also, like I always say, I have two Instagram accounts now, one in English and also one in French. It is quite possible that my French is a bit better than my English from time to time, <laughs> it is. Anyway, thank you so, so much for your time and for your trust, and I will see you next time. Au revoir.